What is up, everybody? everybody. Today is Groundhog's Day. <laughs> we are back at Home Depot. I'm digging for shoes. We are going to get bathroom parts. Bathroom parts. Just as though we started yesterday. Yes. Journey is upset that she's in her kennel. We have a bathroom that needs finished. It turns into a giant mess when we work on the bus. And everybody knows that I hate mess. So, Home Depot, if you watched yesterday's video, we meant what we said. We love you. Sell groceries. Sponsor us. Sponsor, please. Good talk. Here we go. Home Depot. Babe, hey, where are we going? To the bathroom. <laughs> Why? Because it's deja vu, not deja vu. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Off to the bathrooms we go. I had to look it up. It doesn't look like it. Twelve foot. Yeah, I know. I am like six and a half a feet. Yeah. Let's call it. I looked it up. Five and a half. So I think I would only need two of these. Because you'll cut them. Oh, we have to cut all of them. Okay. But the one wall is only like five and a half. Okay. So six and a half and five and a half would be 12 feet. Gotcha. And he's off again. What am I gonna do with this guy? And he dropped this. I don't need that. He dropped this and ran it over. You are ridiculous. You ain't got a rat on me. <laughs> While we were homies. <laughs> we are. Who's this little girl in here? Who's this little girl in here? Hi, baby. Hi. All right, first things first, we measure from top to bottom. And then we cut, measure twice, cut once. Hopefully today that it's not raining, the marker will stick a little better. Down, touch, oh, sorry. I got <laughs> confused of what we were filming. That was earlier. Now we're just making a straight edge. Now we're gonna double check. Sometimes with the humps, we get a little off. Measure twice, cut once. Is this the fun part for you? No. Is this the part you dread the most? No. <laughs> what do you like? <laughs> you never asked me what I like yet. <laughs> what part of this do you like? When it's over. Yeah? Yeah, it's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I like this better than I like the curve to the ceiling. That sucks bad. Yeah. Yeah.
right, guys, the first piece is in. Next step is, <laughs> wasn't ready for this, putting in some screws. Are you being a good girl? Huh? Are you being a good girl? Right now, Dustin is making a template for this wall right here. Um, we have that same board from yesterday that we are using as the template, so that way he can cut the tin to the correct size um, without having to take it in and out and make adjustments. This makes it just a little bit easier. We have cut, as in we as in Dustin here, <laughs> has cut the one of the sides to the bathroom shower wall area. And so now he's using that, um, basically he just flip flopped it and using it to make a template for the other side. Anything you wanna add? Uh. He is over it. Totally over it. All right, so now I'm gonna put some seam stuff. I don't even know what to call it, but it's what they use for tin roofs. So that our seams are all watertight. And we are waterproof. As much as possible, of course. It's clearly not going to be perfect because we do have our toilet in here. So we do have the plumbing and the wire to run our toilet. But again, we wanted it as waterproof as possible. It's basically a little wet room. You could shower in here if you wanted to. You would just kind of want to maybe seal some stuff off and be a little careful. Um, we had talked about basically a solar bag, which we already have, and popping a quick shower if need be. So that's kind of our plan, but can't never be too safe with keeping water out. <laughs> <laughs> what? Turns out, what? Turns out journey has to be Sit down. Hey. Do you want to tell him? Tell him. Yeah. I don't even know what you're talking about. All right, guys. So this corner turned out really well. I was able to kind of bend the corner. This one did not turn out as well. So I am putting some seam sealer back in here. I'll have to cut off another little piece. And then I'm going to put this corner in there just like that. Screw her down and we'll be set. All right, guys, as with anything, when you do one project, sometimes you get to redo another. So I redid the boards along the outside of the fridge or the fridge, the bathroom so that they match each other. And then I put a piece of wood along the bottom with some nail tight whatever and i got some clamps on it so it's held well so the bathroom is officially done i'm gonna run some caulk and stuff but it is it is as done as it's gonna get it is a wet room again not a full-on shower um i have no doubt we can get water in here but like i said with the bathroom or the toilet amenities it's just not full on waterproof and I didn't intend it to be. So with that, I think we could probably take a shower as long as we were cautious and stuff. Um, but the bathroom is finito, which means today, today is finito. We are done closing this day out it's been a long day goodbye you didn't think we were actually done did you okay 
Goodbye.